Hey ladies, I'm just doing a teacher test run to see how this sounds, how this looks, and what I'm gonna say specifically. So bear with me. Um, okay, as you can see over here, I'm on our teacher page. We have our different channels here. We have our general. I just created the friends chat where the students can chat with each other, send pictures, videos. The important information and announcements channel where I would like to upload the um, online classroom expectations and information. And then the questions and answers, which are the frequently asked questions where parents can go to, to ask the questions and we can answer them and then all the parents can view those so we don't have to keep answering the same question over and over. That's the ultimate goal. So I also wanna post some of the files, like maybe our um, pre-K tuition, definitely the online classroom expectations and different files here as well as in here. So they're easily, there may be more, um, ex quickly accessed if parents need to. So the other thing I want to know and touch on is this classroom notebook, which I think is going to be really awesome because it will help us really organize our ideas and um, not just put them all in the general where it's just a bunch of daily um, URLs and different things. So in our classroom notebook, if we click over here to the arrow, Sorry, I have that Dell Latitude E54070 uh, that needs more megabytes, and it's extremely slow, so bear with me. Okay, we click our little arrow, and this is where it opens up to the various tabs here in the notebook. So we have all of our students' notebooks that we have access to, which are private, only shared between the student and the teacher. The collaboration tab, is where the students and the teachers can share different things. They can post different things and we can utilize this together. It also says in here, this is where we could create like small groups for different um, students. Maybe this is where we could do our ESC standards and how we're making those accommodations and modifications for all the students. But then here in our content library is where I really wanna utilize that our resources. So I wanna rename it and make it our resources where we can upload all the different URLs and different suggestions and things for our literacy, our math, and our science. So again, this is like the three ring binder where we're a big filing cabinet where we're keeping all our different documents and resources for all the students to access quickly and directly. Um, not only, of course, are we gonna upload it daily to our general post, I wanna have it here too where they can go back and reference and it's kind of more organized for everybody. Um, so let me know your thoughts on this. Um, haven't really dived into assignments much, but I know that when we create one, like you did Kim here, we just, I think we should simply create like more questions, questions of the days and things like that for the assignment that they must complete and then add those suggestions to our notebook of those activities that they could, they may complete on their own time that, that are optional. All right, ladies. Let me know what you think. All right, bye-bye.